Oh. Eat that booger, Cleo. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Snacks and React, and today we're snacking and reacting with Cleo Thomas. We have a five drawer mystery box of snacks, and we also have a really lovely veggie burrito. I love it, alpha foods. But today, Cleo Thomas is here. What's up, Cleo? What's going on, Christy? How are you? Thanks for coming on this crazy little show. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, thank you for having me. I'm a big fan of it. We get to snack, we get to react. You really figured out how to bring the both worlds together with this. Thank you. I mean, what could go wrong? Plenty, plenty of things. Okay, Cleo, are you ready for drawer number one? I am ready for drawer number one. Oh, it's a blue one. So this is either berry blue or toothpaste. Not so bad, that's not so bad. You ready? Let's do it. I got toothpaste. I got toothpaste as well. Toothpaste is good. Toothpaste isn't bad. E-I-G. What's that spell? <laughs> Dig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there he is. The legend himself, Hector Zero Zeroni. You were kind of bullied, man. Yeah, I was. I was. I, you know, my hair was way longer then. Uh, I was a lot shorter. Zero did get picked on quite a quite a bunch, but he was the underdog at the end of it all. And I mean, that kid still lives on in everyone's heart. So it feels it feels great to have that that kid on my resume. No lie. You guys had uh, had to do a bunch of training, right, before you filmed for for the rigorous like weather you guys had to endure. Yeah, they put us through a bunch of physical training uh, the first uh, month that we actually showed up to set. They had us really dig so we could be able to really know what it's like to to bring this this whole story to life are you ready for our second drawer let's go for the second drawer let's do it all right ready and drawer number two what did you choose all right we got birthday cake or dirty dishwasher I really don't like this and it's only gonna get worse this is only drawer number two are you ready I'm ready let's go Oh. It's so gross. There's nothing. It's so nasty. There's nothing else I can actually describe it as other than dirty dishwasher. Oh. <laughs> gross. It's toaster strudel. Really? Still warm. How'd it get there? Pillsbury toaster strudel. Oh, wow. Was this right around the time you did Holes? Around the same time, I think the the wardrobe people knew to throw me back in an orange sweater that the way people could make the connection. Toaster Strudel commercial, this happened maybe, I wanna say six or seven months after we were done shooting Holes. And uh, big shout out to Pillsbury and, and for being able to lace me, I think with like two months worth of Toaster Strudel. Are you ready for drawer number three? <laughs> I hope so. This second drawer almost took me out. So let's hope that drawer number three has something better to offer. Oh, I don't wanna. Now, I will tell you this. There is hope that this might be peach or barf. The last one tasted like barf though, Christy. Like, I don't understand why you set yourself up for failure with this. All right, you know what? Like I said, you only live once. It's peach or barf. Let's try it. Let's try it. Ah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I got lucky. I'm gonna have nightmares about that jelly bean. I'm sick of being a loser, okay? So you're ticking me for winning? Yeah, at least when you sucker me into this, we we're both equally pathetic. But now, I can't even quit. Everybody will really think I'm a win. Disney Channel original movie, man. DCOMs are nothing to play with, man. We had a whole lot of fun doing Going to the Mat, actually. An incredible story about a uh, wrestler in high school who was also blind, and uh, based on a true story. I grew up a big wrestling fan anyway, so having the ability to kind of train even beforehand to do a lot of these moves that we got a chance to really capture was a lot of fun, man. All right, Cleo, we have an amazing clip coming up, but before we do that, let's go ahead and open up our drawer number four. It's green. Nothing good is green. Not a lot of things in life are green. But hey, it's a juicy pear or a booger. <laughs> On three, let's do it, Christy. We got it. One, two, two, three. I got booger. Oh. I'm taking, I'm just eating the booger. Fight through it. I gotta muscle through this. Eat that booger, Cleo. Oh. <laughs> Eat that booger, Cleo, please. I want all, I want every comment below to simply just say, Eat that booger, Cleo. 
If you heard it here, guys, go comment below. I've never backed down from a challenge or opponent. 2010 was up for sale, so I jumped up to own it. Everybody claimed they were gonna lend a helping hand. Music. Okay, so Cleo is is a really talented hip hop artist. You've got some serious flow. I really love this song. Music has uh, it was always been a passion of mine. Uh, you know, even beginning with Holes, the fact that I, I kind of broke into the business doing both music and acting, because getting the opportunity to write the theme song for Holes, the Dig It song, I got a chance to write that when I was 13. Whoa, I didn't know that, man. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> the worst interviewer ever. No, all good. That's yeah, crazy. We, we got a chance to do both. You know, this is some of my very early work. As you see, there's a big SOD Money Gang chain on because me and Soldier Boy had started working together very closely. You know, after this era of music, uh, you know, I became more of an independent artist. I went on my own tour. I sold out uh, 16 cities. That's so cool. Cleo, you have such a range of talent. I can't even. You dance too? Um, I would say so. If you could put up the Powerline Cleo Thomas video, I think that would answer. doing with your YouTube? So I was a big fan of the movie and Powerline is one of my favorite characters ever and I feel like it would have been great to have seen more of that character. So I decided to go and make a live action adaptation and recreate what Powerline did at the very end of the movie which when he performed uh, Eye to Eye. And I was able to go get a custom uh, costume made because if you did this you couldn't you couldn't like BS it. You had to go all in. 100%. This is so cool. This is so amazing. Thank you. Are you ready for our last and final crazy jelly bean drawer? Please, Chrissy, just let it be a good one. Please. Oh, man. It's a toasted marshmallow or it's stink bug. How are they finding stink bug to put in a jelly bean format? He's absolutely right. Okay, I don't want to do this because I know I got stink bug. I know it. Come on, you got to think positive. It's going to be toasted marshmallow. Come on, let's go for it. Okay, okay. I got stink bug. I got toasted marshmallow. I really feel like I'm eating a real bug. <coughs> you all right? <coughs> whoa, 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 zero! Zero, uh, uh, zero, 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 zero. Got you, got you, got you. What was it like filming this? So what's funny about this day when we were shooting is they actually hired a stunt double to go and just do that simple roll down the hill. But the thing was, they didn't look like me really, so they weren't gonna be able to hide it on camera as well. So I walked over to the director, I was like, I, can I just do it? And Andy looked at me, he looked at his stunt team and he said, let's just have Cleo do it. I'm glad that you know Andy trusted me enough to do roll three feet down a hill and have a great moment with uh, you know Stanley picking up Zero and uh, leading us to, of course, um, you know the onion paradise, if you will. Cleo Thomas, where do we find you? Where can everybody check you out? Uh, man, across all socials, at Cleo Thomas. Please be on the lookout for a, a lot of uh, announcements coming with Twitch very soon. If you love what I do with Powerline, wait till you see what I do with Batman Beyond. That's exciting. Okay, Batman Beyond fans, you heard that. So check Cleo out, guys. I'm sending you so much love, Cleo. Thank you for playing our crazy little game. And please go ahead and like this video if you get a chance. Thanks. Hey guys, so Causebox is amazing, but it has now been renamed to All True. Now, All True is more than just a box. It is a community and movement for good. There will be a digital community center where you can gather, share, and learn fully expanded publication and podcasts. One of the many amazing things about All True is the quarterly subscription box. What makes All True stand out from other subscription boxes is the quality of every product and the positive mission and impact of the company and the brands that it partners with. And so I'm really excited to see these low waste products and homewares, skincare, jewelry, accessories, so much more. Oh, <gasps> so cute. I know so far I've got this amazing bag here that is a nautical tote and these amazing nesting bowls, five piece nesting bowl. Look at the different sizes, five different sizes. Check them out, all these really muted, beautiful colors. I am in love with this gorgeous towel and it goes perfectly with the nautical bag. So the Summer All True Box 
features six products in every box, and every box is up to $250 and more. Ultra is shipped to your door for free. There's two membership plans. There's an annual one. You can choose your products and save $20 a year, or quarterly, members are surprised by all true editors. All of the product options are amazing products. You cannot go wrong. Here is my promo code. Go check out All True. I am going to use all my products as a way to usher in this new season. Go use my promo code. Check out All True. You will not be disappointed. Okay, bye-bye.